Kira Somme of uh, uh, congratulations on a, a massive victory. Yeah, um, it's pretty special. Um, we won send Sammy, Lottie, LT, Uppy and all the guys that are leaving us on a high note and um, yeah, we've done that. Uh, are you pinching yourself? I mean, did you ever expect um, that this would come so soon for you? Not at all. I never saw this coming. I didn't... Yeah, just didn't expect it and we just... Sorry, you... I was going to say, Jeremy, um, on hand at the start of pre-season said, who is this? Where's he come from? When you turned up to training, how many of the boys did you know and how long did it take to get to know them? Um, I've slotted them pretty good. Um, the boys here are real tight. Um, they made me feel welcome on my first day. Um, the only guy I knew was Gris Gresmo from Cowboys because I played um, Queensland 18s with him in the 20s. Um, but from that, I had to make new friends all over again. What were you doing 12 months ago? Mate? I mean, 12 months ago, where did you think life was going to go? Exactly this time last year, I won a state cup with Canada Sharks. So. And after that, I um, took a punt to come here. And what, do you remember that first meeting with Madge? And yeah, it was, it was down, um, just down the road from Redford. It was him and um, Jonesy, the recruiting manager. And I um, sat down with them, with my manager. And um, basically told me I had an opportunity here because um, the outside backs are really thin coming into this year. And I thought it was just a better pathway for me to play regular uh, NRL games. And just where, where I was last year, I just, I just thought to myself, this is here, I'm 22. Um, it's either this year or never. So I took a punt, come down here, and today we ended up with the ring. Were there other options? Was the South sort of the only option or had? Oh, mate, um, I was actually telling my, one of my good mates on the um, young tournament here. I, actually be, I told him if nothing comes up, I'll just be a bodybuilder. Saying I got the right body type for it. Um, luckily, I didn't take that path, and uh, Madge gave me a call. <laughs> Moment, you know, Samoa and the Four Nations, and, you know, is that even something you dream of as well to, to round out this year? Yeah, <clears throat> well, growing up in Auckland, um, it was always All Blacks, and especially in, um, in Auckland, it's the Blues or the All Blacks, and I've always wanted to be an All Black, but I took a different pathway when I got a bit older, and um, I wouldn't mind playing for the Kiwis. Um, yeah, I was born in Samoa one day, I, I would like to pull on the blue jersey, but. For me, growing up in Auckland, yeah, the All Blacks are the Kiwis. Um, I guess just to explain that feeling up on stage there, um, knowing that you're sending off a couple of the guys um, in San Burgess, Ben Teo, uh, how much of uh, your efforts were, were headed towards sending them off on a good note? Yeah, it took, it took every bit of us. Um, we had to prepare really well, and, um, and that week we had off in the second week of finals, um, and not only that, it started from last year's preseason. Uh, look, Sammy had sacrificed a lot for the, for the team, and we see, we've seen that as being real inspiring. And um, we, younger guys, we look at that, and that, that inspires, inspires us to uh, inspires us actually to sacrifice a bit of an, an old lifestyle and um, stay off the piss and whatnot, and um, pay dividends today. Um, talking about changes, transformations, um, your captain, obviously he's a, a South junior. How, how special is that that he's been able to hold up um, that trophy tonight? Uh, it would mean the world to him to hold that trophy up, being the first captain since uh, how long now? To, yeah, 71, to be a local and lead the team out there to, uh, to a victory. Uh, special term and I'm happy for him. What did you know of South's history, mate? Before you got here, what did you know of... Did you used to make fun of South fans too? Or? No, mate. Um, Do you know much at all? Living in Melbourne for the last four years, mate, you don't really hear about rugby league. And the way I grew up in my upbringing, I never really followed rugby league. And now, I, to answer your question, I didn't really know much history about this club. Now, being nine months into it, um, I do know a fair bit. 1908 is when they formed, and 20 premierships, plus one tonight. Kicked out of the comp. That's it. Was there a moment during the season where you went, this club's something a bit different, or this club's history is, you know, sort of pretty special? Yeah, obviously um, there is a lot of, it is a story franchise, a lot of history behind it. Now and then you do speak about it, but you've got to really focus on the week, leading into the game and prepare as well as you can to get the win, to get the position we are in uh, tonight and come with the win. There's a few of the club legends here. Have you had a chance to have a chat to them or have they, have they um, shared any words with you after the victory? Um, 
Not really. I, I wouldn't have had a chance to speak to most of them. I did have a little word to Bobby, Bob McCarthy. Um, just well wishes and congratulations. That's it. But I'm sure when we get back to the juniors here, and we'll sit down and have a good chat about it. Nice to meet Russell Crowe too in the process. Yeah, mate. Um, a massive fan of his growing up. And to meet him, um, I actually met him in when we first um, Broncos and cl close the gap round, and that was that was something special. And I'll never forget that. Moment. I actually took a picture right after the game, so I make sure I show everyone that I know I met him and shook his hand. Congratulations. Um, enjoy the celebration. Thank you very much.